This one is for the introverts, a social environment tailored to form connections in a safe space. In tonight's Generation Next segment, we learn how one young man is hoping to counter social anxiety among his peers. Humans want to connect, want to get to know people more. We're very social beings, but sometimes it's it's scary, it's intimidating. You're kind of like, hmm, am I going to say the right thing? Sometimes you're too much in your head. Young people are grappling with unprecedented social challenges, notably a rising prevalence of social anxiety. An extensive study by the National Center for Biotechnology Information reveals that globally, one in three individuals aged 19 to 26 now meets the criteria for a social anxiety disorder diagnosis. According to another study done by the NCBI, the pandemic-induced isolation measures worsened this issue, despite the world gradually reopening. Micah Jordan's Keep Hope Alive game evolved into the speed friending event to help. Very wholeheartedly with introverts in mind, one thing that perhaps introverts relate to or that can be very intimidating is when they go into a social setting, it's like, I don't know anyone. I'm very much in my head. I'm not sure what we're going to talk about. I'm not sure there's any way we could have a bond like that. Um, so I'd like to think this game helps facilitate, makes that bridge so that it's not a superficial conversation. It's not a vapid conversation. We just jump straight into something deep and something meaningful that I believe introverts take comfort in. Participants pair up for limited time periods and engage in conversations guided by the question cards of the game. This takes the pressure of trying to figure out what to talk about off the player's shoulders. But the game is separated into two decks. Um, one deck is around questions from your past life, and the other deck is questions from your present self. So the idea being, if I wanted to get to know you, where you came from, what you've been through, maybe stuff around your childhood, stuff that you used to like, we would play questions framed around your past life. And if I wanted to snippet into what's going on right now, this current moment that you're in, I would play questions from the present self and I'd get to know what is it that's going on in your life right now. Thus far, the feedback from participants has been widely positive and many have commented on how it has brought value to them, including forming connections they otherwise wouldn't have. Micah shares his hope for anyone who gives speed friending a try. But maybe our friend groups are very small, so we'd like to think that this event is a great way to meet like-minded people in a safe space to come together, have deep conversations, and hopefully by the end of it, you will have made a new friend. Taking the time to sit and have a conversation with a stranger, you may just find that we have more in common than that which divides us.